Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I got a little request from a subscriber. Let's see if we could help him out with a wiring diagram. So basically, the subscriber would like to have a battery reserved for trolling and another battery reserved for his equipment, so a main battery. So he would like both batteries to be completely independent. Here's the tricky part. If the trolling battery goes dead, he would like the main to furnish the power to the electric engine so he can get back home. All right, let's start with the wiring diagram. Let's get rid of all the grounds, connect all the grounds to the bus bar so they're out of the way. I'm going to take a little second here to ask you guys to like and subscribe. You guys have been a great support until now. Thank you very much. Let's keep going. Now we're going to take the output of the switch and connect it to the auto reset circuit. And then another wire from the auto reset circuit to the electric engine. Don't forget, you need to have the right gauge wire. And now to complete the trolling battery circuit, we're going to connect the positive of the battery to pin one of the switch. That completes the circuit for the trolling battery. Now let's go on the main battery. First thing we're going to do is add a positive buzz bar so it's less complicated to see our connections. So on the positive buzz bar, we can connect our navigation lights. We can connect our fish finder and all equipment that we want to have running. And now to bring power to the equipment, we need to connect the positive of the main battery to the positive buzz bar. At this point, your navigation lights, uh, your fish finder, and all equipment you've connected should be running on the main battery. Every equipment that's on the main battery side should have a switch so it can be turned off. The fish finder usually has an on-off switch. I would add the switch for the navigation lights so you can turn them off. Now here comes the tricky part where we want the main battery to furnish power to the electric engine in case of a failure on the trolling battery. So we'll add a wire between the positive buzz bar and pin two of the switch. Now let me explain a little bit what happens. When you put your battery switch on position one, you've got your two batteries that are completely independent. So you've got your trolling battery running the electric engine and you've got your main battery running all your equipment. Now, if you switch your battery switch to position two, this is where your main battery will be able to furnish power to your electric engine and completely disconnect the trolling battery. Some switches will have the one and two position. This is where both your batteries will be working in parallel. Another little side note, for the battery switch, I usually take a make before break switch. And now for the last position on the switch, the off position. This is where your trolling engine is completely disconnected, but you can still run on your main battery, the fish finder and your navigation lights. Now, how do we recharge these batteries? We'll add a five by two charger. This one is from NOCO. I'm not sponsored by them. I just like their equipment. You'll connect the positive and the negative of one output to the trolling battery, and you'll connect the other output, the positive and the negative, to the main battery. I would have the battery switch on the off position and plug the charger for batteries to recharge. This is a critical part of the setup you'll see letters A to H appearing on the wiring diagram. Now these eight wires need to be set to the right gauge wire since they are all used to run your electric engine at some point. At the end of this video, I will have a link to another video that shows you how to choose 
the right gauge wire for your electric engine. This setup can be used on a small boat or a kayak. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll get back to you soon. Thanks for watching and see you guys soon.